Uh oh. Where's my mic? Oh, it's way over there. Okay, I should be louder now. Way louder, too loud. Everyone in the chat's like, ah, covering their ears. Turn it down, Risen, you're too loud. No, my microphone was like all the way behind my two monitors, but welcome in. You guys, we're playing more Three Houses. <laughs> yes, this game. It's so good. I love some Three Houses. Minimalist maddening. Oh, very little monastery. Oh, no manual instruct. Oh, what? Seriously, Raisins? That's right. All that. All that. And now we're going into chapter two. The hardest chapter in the game. Chapter two. It's crazy, man. How many Fire Emblem games where chapter two was the hardest? It's like this in Awakening. Is, is chapter two the hardest chapter in Awakening? I think so, right? That's what a lot of people say. But where are we at? So I think we just finished our monastery. We have zero activity points remaining. Did do do what? Get out of here, Grumblo. That's some rubbish. He isn't do do do. Oh lord, what are we cooking? Exactly. Hiya papaya, lo hiya papaya, lovelies. I know, right? I don't know if Zelkov would say lovelies. He would say lovely, but he wouldn't say lovelies. What the heck is that? Is that a Pegasus? Look at it. It's just up there. Yeah, that's what I said. Redeem pun license. Uh-oh, Hazelar, what's he doing? To do is to do day. I love it. Nice, nice. But um, anyway, I determined that I don't think... Oh, I said I was going to off-camera try to um, get the professor EXP required to like get a professor rank before Chapter 3, but I don't think I can do it. Just revising through as myself, just finished engaged, ready to enjoy some. It's so good, man. I'm going back to it, and it's like, man, I forgot how much I love this game. It's so good. What the heck, in it? Yeah. I like sweet food. Ooh. Easy NS support. How did I forget that one, man? How could I forget the NS support? I'm like relearning all these things. Tomas over here being a little creeper looking at. He's like peeping at Manuela, isn't he? I think so. Did you know? They're identical. Easy. I know, right? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Here I am all this time. I've been forgetting stuff. Now, uh, there's actually one thing I wanted to talk about, and that is I went to the altar and I got those. I'm debating going down and maybe getting, like, Constance? Yeah, Hope someone isn't peeing on Manuela, respectively. Uh, Qui-Gon Jinn, speak for yourself. I think you're the only one, actually. That's really weird. I remember there was a second about picking up Constance now, but I don't know. I feel like I'd rather wait until 4. What I'm thinking about is Chapter 3 and Chapter 4, you know? I feel like I need a little bit of extra oomph. No C prop for Chapter 3. Pepe. I know, right? I don't have it. Ugh. Is it no C or is it no, um... What would it be? I need to check my... There it is. Okay. Yeah, I... no, I'm on, I'm on D prof. I'm on uh, D proficiency. D proficiency. D professor level for Chapter 3. That's what I want. Hilda's Claude's BFF, can you recruit her? Yeah, you can. It's just on Crimson Flower that you can't recruit her. If you're playing Black Eagles, you can't recruit her. You can't even build support with her until um, Chapter 12. At which point you have like one monastery to get Hilda. You have one. You better make it quick. You know? Yeah, I don't even have D. I need the D for Chapter 3, right? And you can quote me on that. That's what I'm missing out on. Happy gaming. Hilda's recruitable in all words except Crimson Flower. Exactly. Crimson Flower, she's not. Silver Snow, like I said, you gotta go back and you have one month to do it, but you can do it. What the heck am I doing? Um, yeah, so I was debating for a moment, actually, just to make Chapter 3 a little bit easier, getting someone like Constance or Happy. I'm not really sure, though, because, um, hmm... Like, okay, I don't want to say Constance is going to be, like, a really important mage, but, I mean, look at what I got already, you know? I guess I am going to get... Ugh, I was about to say, I, I like, literally, these were the words that were about to come out of my mouth. I was about to say, I guess I am going to get Linhart and Lawrence, but really, dude? Really? Linhart and Lawrence? Get out of here. I guess Flane, too, if she counts, right? But, like, Linhart and Lawrence? Get out of here. Maybe I do actually need, like, the Chapter 3 Constance for a slightly stronger mage. Or do I get, the, do I get like, the Chapter 2 Constance or the Chapter 2 Happy? The thing about Happy is that, like, you know, she's here for the personal, right? She's here for the personal. Does that mean that Hilda has a sixth sense for how sus might be before he prove otherwise? Exactly, Kuroi. See, Kuroi just knows. I need to practice my laps around the guy. I used to be really good at this, man. I was like, perfect. Oh, oh! Oh, come on. How many in a row can you get? Am I the only one who does this? 
car is way more control than an engage. Okay, I'm, I'm through this. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make this guy dizzy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, but like, I'm really thinking about it. Is should I do like a chapter two Constance recruit? Like, whoa, I get my <laughs> nice. We clipping fellas. <laughs> Chapter 3, yeah, it would probably be better for both of them long-term. Well, here's the thing. I actually can't recruit Chapter 3. Chapter 4 is the first I can recruit. Because I don't get a Monastery in Chapter 3. If there's any route that needs Constance Happy. Yeah, like, so it's not a question of can I get through Chapter 2 without Constance Happy. It's a question of can I get through Chapter 2 and 3 without Constance Happy. You know? Like, do I need the extra heals? Would Coco actually leveling give more than her auto levels? She's going to level up four times between now and the next time I can recruit her. How many does she get? Uh, let me take a look at how many heals I can get for one. For one, how many heals can I get? Azure Moon Speedrun must talk. We don't have a Warper. Yeah, but we get a net. And that sucks. Kirby Mass out here typing, boo. And that sucks. Say it with me. Say it with me, fellas. And that sucks. Boo! <laughs> I knew it. What? She's E. Oh my god, dude. She's E rank face. Oh my god. What am I supposed to do with E rank face? Ugh, do you recommend this game? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, right, right, wanna be. It's kind of good. How much I got? Yeah, 1,435 hours and still loving it. Oh man, is it good. Man, oh man. Oh, and 500 and engaged. Flat, even. Nice. Holy moly. That's what I'm saying. I love this game. Yeah, E rank faith and net appreciation. You got, you got. I'm not. She doesn't even have a boon. What? You tell me she's neutral? Oh my. Come on. 1,825. Holy smokes. Now there's Happy. Yeah, but Happy gets debased for recruiter chapter 4. 1,000 isn't much, Raisin. Raymond, okay, 1,000 in a game is a lot, okay? Look, look. I'm sure there's a lot of people out here with more hours in many games, but you gotta remember, okay? 1,000 hours? That is half a year of a full time job. Like, you think, gotta think about it, right? Literally. Eight hours a day, five days a week. You play three houses, you will get there after half a year. That's so much. That's so much. That's a lot of time to put into a game. Three houses, my favorite foe than Fire Emblem game. Yo, true though, actually. Like you're out here saying, oh, this isn't that much time. 1,000 is like 40 days. Yeah, literally 40 days straight. Straight. Constance has been having here homes in film before voting on his averages of accuracy issues. His access to rescue and work can be nice stuff. The, the, okay, the full the full extent of the discussion is like okay, here's the thing. I'm going to recruit Constance. Dracolon, thanks so much for the follow. What the heck you haven't been following all this time? Can't believe you drag. I'm kidding. Welcome, I'm glad to have you. The whole like the whole discussion, right? Is about like I am getting Constance. Make no mistake. I am getting Constance. It's just is it better to recruit her now for a better two and three? Or is it better for her long-term development for to get her in chapter four so that she's a monk and has the D-rank faith? Like, like that. that's the question. That's the question here. Is which one is better? Which one's actually better for the run and for her overall? Yeah, it's not Dewey. It's one Dewey. We're definitely getting Constance. And we're going to use her until she ends. We're going to use her until either she falls off or the game ends. One of those two happen. One of those two things is going to happen first, right? So. Hey, three has the stream. Fab Game in the series. Let's go. Have you played Tears? Uh, Tears. Uh, oh, like Tears of the Kingdom? No, I've not. Or she dies horribly. Yeah, or she dies. Um, If she. Oh, come on. You saw me go. Holy smokes. That was a long time. Hold on. I, I'm like idly trying to do this. I'm going to get really good at this, by the way. Basically, cool. thanks so much for the follow. But yeah, no, it's not do we do it. It's when do we do it. I'll go for the chapter four. Crude, I was vulnerable spam early game. Yeah, okay. Actually, that's a good question. That's a good question. Why don't, why don't we open it up? How many bones we got? Hey, my inventory is all empty. 
Okay, we got uh, 15. We have 18 volts. Okay, so remember, we used 12 last map. Actually, we used 15 last map. Although we didn't have any healer. And going into this map, we're going to have at least Mercedes with heal. Right? We're gonna, at least Mercedes is going to have it. Uh, Balthus has E rank faith and a boon. You know, I'm almost tempted to have Balthus go for heal. Actually, think about it, man. Think about it. What's he going to get for this? What's, what's he going to get? That's gonna, that's gonna be better for this map than heal. Think about it. No, seriously. What's he gonna get? He's got a boon. I can instruct him. Man, oh, he's like, come on. That seems pretty good, huh? Really enjoy Thrive's manning mode too. Oh, it's so good. Heal Nas Fratry Restore. I, it's literally, I, I'm not even thinking of anything past D. I'm not, like, I understand he, oh, come on. I always believe in our girl Annette. Yeah, I mean Annette does get restored, but I'm literally thinking about like chapters three and I'm literally thinking about chapters two and three here. Right? That's all that matters to me. That magic stat. Six magic. Like I like it's more important that you just have the heals. Like the heal casts are what's more important. Uh you know what? Here's the thing though. I'm probably gonna make him a fighter for the next chapter, right? Like, there's no beginner class that I can put him into, right? There's no beginner class that I can put him into that has um, both fists and spell casting. I keep him in, uh, what, noble? Is he noble or is he a commoner? He's a noble. Yeah, I just keep him in noble, turns out. What the heck is this? Oh, the x minimalist, yeah. Now, here's the thing, too. I could also just get happy. You know, think about it, man. What if I just get happy? Happy's like... She's good, but all of the things she does that are really good are kind of, like, agnostic to her stats and ranks, right? I mean, I guess there's, like, casting, what is that, what is that spell, but... Here's the thing, though, right? Like, if Balthus can't get healed, then, like, who can? Like, if I'm not gonna give Balthus heal, am I gonna get Constance and give her heal? Really? Am I gonna do that? I don't know. What's Constance's faith rank right now, even? What does she even level? Hold on, I had to close out a web page. Apparently, I was typing out a Reddit comment. What am I doing with my life? FP3H.com. Raisins is a nerd. That's right. Sorry, fellas. That's just how it is. Reddit Keck W. Yeah, well, the sub I mod is uh, back open for today, and so we're discussing if we go back to being closed. I know she even has a faith boom. What's wrinkling my raisins? What's up, dude? Whoa. What is she even auto level? What? What? Yo, reason off? Oh, dude, she has E rank face. I mean, with a boon to be sure, but she has E rank face. She has a boon, it's true. Everyone to get a second monitor, second meme on three hopes while watching three houses. Hey. Ah, oh, that stinks then. A second monitor? Yeah. Yuri can end stupidly broken. Yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I've already um, planned in my mind though that I'm gonna do a chapter six recruit for Yuri. That's what I've already planned on. Might sound, yeah, but the blackout was stupid in so many ways. Oh, I'm supportive of it. Honestly. And my preference, and I've said this to the other mod team, is that we just remain closed forever. And I think no matter what, I'm not going back on Reddit anyway. Sacred Stones is a hard game because it kicked my butt. Can I kick that? Sacred Stones is a hard game because it kicked my butt when I did enemy plus 30% growths. The biggest one was let's just tell Reddit how long this blackout will last. Well, the thing is, it's like they also said that while also saying, like, okay, and then we're going to continue it if, you know. Like, a lot of, the, like, that's what a lot of the big subs were also saying, too, is, like, we're gonna do it, like, basically, because the sub I moderate, and it's r slash KOTOR, by the way, if you've ever heard of Star Wars Knights of the Republic, I'm on that mod team for KOTOR. Basically, what we said is, hey, we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do this for a week, and then after a week, we're gonna reopen just to discuss, like, whether or not we should keep going on with the blackout. That's basically it. And then we'll, like, keep on going anyway. Sacred Stones of Tweet Gross has to be a bit of a brutal experience. Yeah, true. 
I really wish other farming games did that more, you know, just raised the just made the enemy stats bigger. Oh, come on. Ugh. Totally messed that up. It's harder than it looks, fellas. Somebody's gonna upload like a macro, they're just gonna teach a bot to do this. Right? Um But yeah, no, and the whole mod team, basically the whole mod team is like we really just wanna keep on doing the blackout forever. Like and Reddit's like, oh, Reddit actually so Reddit actually sent us a message. We got a mail from Reddit admin from Reddit administration saying, uh, yeah, open the sub or we're gonna move or we're gonna remove you as mods. And literally all of us are like, yeah, fine. Whatever. No, we're gonna close the sub still. What are we doing? Um We're still thinking about constants. What about happy though? Let's briefly debate happy. Briefly let's debate happy. Because what about Happy, you know? What about her? Can they just force open it on their end? Yeah, but we're just not going to moderate. Happy for the monster effective off the bat? But that doesn't... So the monster effective doesn't really matter for 3 and 4. It's just like, Will being recruited as a noble or a commoner... I think she gets recruited as a commoner. Will being recruited as a commoner, like stunt her growth in any way in any meaningful way right because like what does she really do that kind of requires that uh favorable auto leveling in the d faith rank she doesn't even auto level anything good i think she auto levels like lances You want her kind of early for some faith levels? Yeah, but the best way to get the faith levels is actually just to kind of do D. Actually, what I'm thinking is just get her now, because here's the thing. Isn't she, like, auto-leveling lances anyway? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I can have a happy in... Like, if I get her now, I'm pretty sure happy can enter chapter uh, 4, which is when I would recruit her anyway, with more than D faith, for one, and also with more reason rank than if I had just... More reason rank, more authority rank, more everything that I care about than if I had recruited her at 4. Does that mean that doing so means that she's, you know, maybe earning some EXP that could have been going to my other units? Yeah, sure, but that doesn't seem like that much. Yeah, she always Lance. Yeah, I don't care about Lance. Like, her Lance rank is, like, completely pointless. I have no reason to level it up whatsoever. So I think I just pick up Happy, actually. That seems like the best thing to do. Just, just pick up Happy. Because if I do this, then, like... For one, I am stronger in two and three because I have an extra unit and a good unit at that, right? Are you winning raisins? That I am. Don't worry about it. Of course I am, Range. I sweat. But I was debating the happy recruit, and I think actually recruit happy right now is just fine because, like, actually, what does she benefit from the auto levels, right? What? You want to know if I can help out? But personally, I find her faith overrated, especially in low resources. You're working with a neutral all the way up to CA physic warp. I mean, like, I'm fine with that. Like, the point is, the, the point of the monk more so is that, like, you just get it for free. Like, you get the heal without having I've to pay a time, dime. That's the point. I don't want to spend it all serving the church. Don't make that face. Yeah, and... Like, again, I'm kind of thinking of, like, the, the economics of it, right? It's, like, just getting it completely for free. But I actually think... Like, basically, what's happening is she does not, yeah. Yeah, she doesn't have a boon in it. What I was thinking more so was like the, the economics of getting the faith completely for free as opposed to uh, having to do something to raise it or, you know, kind of stealing the EXP as it were. Also, the fact that she joined, like if I do wait later, then she joined at level 7 and level 7 monk. And that's like, w with slightly better stats than this, but like, do I care about her stats? I have a feeling that because I did this, her stats are going to be a little bit stunted, right? I'm always in favor of earlier recruiting. Yeah, but like the there 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 is a bit of a sweet spot. You gotta admit, like the later the later you recruit, the better the stats always every single time, right? Gotta love when they give a faith unit neutral faith for just for character lore reasons. Yeah. But the main idea is, like, I'm pretty sure I can just kind of... Like, her stats are going to be worse for the entire rest of the game because of this decision. You gotta remember. Okay, 
yeah, maybe I could get lucky and get, like, amazing level ups if I even level her up, but, you know... Faith unit. I was kind of going to say that wrong house because, like, I do kind of um, not really think of units that way. Uh, three hours mining has an EXP ceiling. I just assume investments will be at relevant levels. Yeah, but, like, again, it's, um... Let me put it this way. I highly doubt Happy will be level 7 uh, going into Chapter 4. I highly doubt it. That does not look like something that's going to happen. Very unlikely. Well, I mean, here's the thing. It may happen. It may happen. But it's something new. Because, again, like, I'm kind of fine stunting her long-term growth for basically what amounts to a quick power spike in Chapters 2 and 3. I think that's better than, you know, really trying to use it for a long time. Actually, doesn't she get, like, does she get a pretty massive res boost? Maybe I want to take that back. Did I already save the game? No, we've been live for, like, 36 minutes and whatnot. So, I definitely, first off, I didn't recruit her 20 minutes ago. That's for sure. So, I do tend to think of you in space in the role of the game, telegraphs and being good at, even if they're the niches, but man. No, like, I, again, I wasn't going to... Like, when you, when you said that, in my mind, I kind of objected to it, but it didn't feel like an objection that was so important that I felt like really articulating a response against it. It's like, you know, basically you and I just have different perspectives on the units, and that's it. Wait, we're training Super Bi- Yeah, we're trying Super Bilith. Super Bi- Not Super Dimitri, just Super Bilith. Uh, let me take another look at Happy, though, actually. I want to see what were her stats going to be. Let's see. Let's see. Um, okay, so though, Chapter 4, Level 7. That's actually a lot of res, ain't it? That's a lot of, like, that's a lot of res. She had 11 res before before class bonuses, even. So, I mean, do I really care? After chapter 6, like, in three chapters, I get flame. Flame. And she, boy, do we know she's got enough, you know? All I'm saying, she's got enough. Like, you're talking about res. You literally can, first off, you can buy pure waters. As the highest res growth or one. I thought it was flame. Let me take a look at it. I mean, for one, Flane um, auto levels Priest after a while, right? So, Flane is a res tank. That's the thing is, like, with res, you know, do you really care about it? Because you get Flane for free. That's something you're not playing Crimson Flower. I mean, if you are playing Crimson Flower, you do briefly get Flane for free. And you can buy Pure Waters. I guess, like, buying Pure Waters, though, is part of it. What was I doing? What, what was I even looking at? Oh, class um, growth rates. Do they have enemy classes listed here, or just... Aha! Found it. Enemy Priest has 35 res growth. Enemy Mage has 35 as well, though, so... And then... Happy has a 45 res growth. Flame has a 50 res growth, yeah. Magic weak damage type anyway. Get out! Get out the face palmer. No, I'm kidding. Um, Flane has the highest price growth. Yeah, except for Sothis, I guess. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? Nobody cares, right? Yeah, you got pure waters. You got a lot of ways. Honestly, mages really stopped being scary after, like, chapter... Um, what's it called? Chapter 4. Chapter 4, I think, is, like, the last map with really scary mages. Where it's like, those dark mages are like, oh boy, you better watch out. And then after that, it's like, nah, whatever. I'll just like, not die instead. Uh, but I'm pretty I'm pretty content with this. First off, I'm pretty content with uh, the preps I've done. I understand that, yeah, I didn't manage to get, um, I didn't manage to get D professor level in time. So my next lecture question is going to have far less professor EXP, but so be it, really. The Gilbert flankers can be kind of annoying. You know what? Maybe that's a, that's a good point, actually. Th those guys do exist. They're kind of... Uh, it's funny as one pair is an ambush, the other isn't. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh, but I'm pretty I'm pretty content with this. I, I think this is a nice setup going into the map. I'm pretty content. We even... Technically, we even have a Tempest Lance here. <laughs> that's kind of funny, actually. And, oh, I wanted to briefly look at, like, what were the stats that Happy, were go that Happy was going to have for recruited or later. Uh, let me see what exactly she was going to get if I got her in the other chapter instead so if i'd got her in chapter four she would be a level seven monk with uh eight strength who cares 14 magic you know i bet i bet you she can level magic at least two times right 
Uh, eight speed doesn't really matter that much. I'd probably try and get her sword anyway. Um, can she even get? She doesn't have sword bane, so why not? Why not go for thief? Um, what is it? Eleven res. Yeah, uh, she's probably not beating that. Frankly, you know these stats don't really look like that much better. That they they don't really look that much better. So maybe I'm not really losing out on that much after all. Maybe this is just outright the better thing to do with Happy. Who knows? It's kind of weird to say, hey, a monk who doesn't auto-level one of their things, you know, you ought to recruit them earlier than Chapter 4, or earlier than Chapter 3. It's kind of weird, but... Hmm, this is my first Fire Emblem. This is a great first Fire Emblem game, I gotta say. If you have a friend, and they haven't tried Fire Emblem, but they come up to you and they say, hey, I want to play a Fire Emblem game. Uh, what's the first one I should play? This is a great choice. This is a great choice. Played Azure Moon 2. This was also my first route. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, this is my first. The thing is that this is my first route because um, my I had two friends who'd also played this game and they they had played the other two boards. So I was like, I'm just gonna play this one because one of you played Crimson Flower, one of you played uh, Quad's route. It's pretty fun. It's my second or third. Oh yeah, a lot has that happened to me. I wrecked three hours and moved the throne. She loved it so much. It's a really good. I'm. I did. Hey guys, I'm gonna submit it. We're gonna go. That was my first super different in a lot of ways from the games. Really got me hooked. The best if first you Fire Emblem no game you can recommend. Because here's the thing, right? I will tell you all that I know. If you're, that's agreeable to you, I, I hear a lot of conversation discourse about like what's the best first Fire Emblem game. In my opinion, if you're trying to recommend a first Fire Emblem game, someone, I'm gonna eat like a bite of my dinner real quick. So I'm not really hungry. Kind of on the note, dude. Look at Balthus out there. Look at him. You guys see that guy? How do you how do you zoom in when you screenshot? How do how do you zoom in? Take a screenshot. Look at him over there. I want to take a, I want to take a peek over at that Balthus. Is this dude like twenty six? Yeah, he's old. How, how do you how do you do it? How to take a zoomed in screenshot switch. But it doesn't save your zoom. I think it's an accessibility setting. Ah, oh, crap. Double home button if it's enabled in the switch settings. Yeah, no. Look at him go, man. What I want to point out, he is man spreading back there. Golly, he's taking up that whole bench. Doesn't save your zoom. You can still access it. Look at him in there. How do I how do I even uh, zoom 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 zoom? How do I? Come on, get in there. Sharing and editing. I need to zoom. That is his bench. That's what you know, we just, just gotta appreciate it from a distance. Use the sticks. Oh my gosh. He's doing the berserker stance. <laughs> yeah, use the sticks. Oh my god. Yeah, look at him over there, man. Holy moly. He's like he he would not be allowed on the train. Right? He would not be, man, people would be giving him the Rosado screen. Look at this unit, exactly. <laughs> Look at him, the king of grappling needs the throne. Fire Emblem Path of Raids was the very first Fire Emblem game. Yeah, he's man spreading back there. Holy crap. I gotta send that. <laughs> not both this on the train, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at him go. Holy smokes. Yeah, I know, but like about the first Fire Emblem game. Like, if you if you if if you're trying to recommend a first Fire Emblem game to somebody, I think the only thing that matters, the only thing that matters in your recommendation is that they like the game. Bald is just a silly guy. He's about to rip his pants, I know, right? Dude, I ripped a shirt earlier today. I was I felt so bad. I was like, ah crap. Just it was one of my favorite shirts too. I like, I think I woke up, I, I like wore it to bed. That was mistake number one. I like wore it to bed. And then I woke up, I think I was lying down. And I did a stretch and I heard just heard like rip all the way down here. It's like, oh my God, it's this massive, like gaping hole right under the armpit. And it's like, I have to throw this out. I really liked that shirt too. And I have to throw it out. But yeah, no, if you're recommending like a first Fire Emblem game to somebody, as this first FE game, that's another great one. I love the Sacred Stones. But yeah, like literally the only thing that matters is that they like it. I know there's a lot of people out there who's like, well, I don't think this is a, I don't think this is a good first Fire Emblem game because it gives the wrong impression of what the rest of the series is about. And it's like, bro, that doesn't matter. 
That doesn't matter. All right, ripped raisins, far from it, far from it. I was literally lying in bed, and I think I ripped it actually because my fat belly was sitting on part of the shirt. Like, it was sitting on the part of the shirt that it pulled against and it tore open, right? The rest of the series is anime chess, exactly. It doesn't really like strategy games. Like, hey, fair enough, you know? That's the thing, man. If someone comes up to me and is like, hey, I'm looking for a first farm game, and I'm like, what do you like? And you're like, this, 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 and it sounds like three houses, recommend them three houses. It doesn't matter that three houses is different from the rest of the games. Are there other games like this have a very sandbox approach to the unit development? I wouldn't say to the same extent as this. Like, maybe the next most one is something like Fates, where Fates is, um... I don't recommend 5 or 10. Uh, I just don't recommend 5 or 10 since it's more fun to play the others first. I guess that is one thing. It's like, you know, you gotta you gotta be... You, you gotta outright say, hey, this is a mid or this is a sequel or whatever. And, um, you know, if it's really important to you that you understand the world, then, you know, you really ought to do this one first. Dark Souls 1 is a bad starting game because it has a bad combat system compared to the others. I like Dark Souls 1 combat. I don't know what you're talking about. Talk about not representative. Then I bought the game. Ooh. I can only imagine this character is this voice actor. I saw some Dimitri clips. Yo, hold on. We got to hear another Dimitri voice line. Everybody, chat, be quiet. Ah, no more Dimitri. Imagine just jumping into Rain and Dawn. Very silly thought. That's what I did, actually. I'm not going to lie, actually. Here's the thing. Like... In my mind, I'm thinking, imagine, imagine, right? I won't recommend ones that require translation patches from speakers, it's just extra steps. I mean, here's the thing, if you're talking to someone and you know that they wouldn't mind that, then like, it's fine. But again, it's like, whoa, here, guys, here's a crazy idea. You should know things about your friends. What? Like, are they going to be really upset if they have to install a translation patch? That's all I'm saying, you know? crazy. Radiance was the first one I owned. I'm not gonna lie, so I played Radiant Dawn before Path of Radiance, and like, even though me now thinking about it, I really love Radiant Dawn, much more than Path of Radiance. I really love Radiant Dawn. And thinking about it now, I th think if I had the tastes that I have now, and I had never played either, I would really love Radiant Dawn as a first Fire Emblem game. When I played Radiant Dawn the first time, I hated it. Like, I despised Radiant Dawn. I was like, this game sucks. I played I played it before Path of Radiance. So I was like, this game sucks. And then I played Path of Radiance, and I liked Path of Radiance so much. I I literally, I could not eat or sleep until I had played some Radiant Dawn. It was like, I have got to. It was nuts. First game of Facebook, played Conquest of Intuit. This guy recommends one of those fans. I mean, you know, if you like it. Clearly, you're here now, Raymond, right? Okay, let's talk about these ranks, right? We got Felix. I think we ought to try and get Curved Shot. Now, we have Solo Bow, so we can actually get it with goals alone. I actually wonder, should we try to get D here and D here? What do you reckon, fellas? What do you reckon? If we have this boon... Don't we just get this? Because it's 24. For a split goal, it's 24 in two weeks. So we've actually just got this in our two weeks of goals. Wait, oh, you're totally right. We have to use auto-instruct. Oh my gosh. Oh, you moly. Okay, yeah, no, forget about it. We've got to use auto-instruct. Um, yeah, it's like actually against the rules to do manual instruct. Yeah, forget about it. <laughs> so Gamma's Quest of Darius, Lone Wolf. Yeah, no, for real. Um, look at me. I almost forgot the rules to my own run. There we go. Actually, Mr. Rainbow Sparkles, it's part of the rules of this run that I can only auto-instruct, right? <laughs> Original cheater, that's right. That's me. Okay, so one thing I can do is because he has a Lance Boon, um, I can just do a solo Lance one week and then do a split Lance something else the next week. Run almost invalid. Yeah, you can survive on normal. Normal is like... I mean... Like, it's good that the easy mode is easy, right? So, nimble combat at C plus is nice if it doesn't quad. That's true. You have nimble combat at C. Uh, but what I want to do is I just want to get the lance out of the way, right? I just want to get the lance out of the way, right? Let me actually take a look and see um, who's going to get auto-instructed here. I'm pretty sure. So, first of all, it goes by motivation. So, Felix is going to get auto-instructed. Next, it goes by level. So, the next candidate for my three is going to be Dimitri and then I think Ingrid. No, it's not going to be Ingrid. Okay. So the three targets for the auto instruct this week are going to be Felix, Dudu, and Dimitri. I also totally S supported Dimitri. 
With all the other things you've said so far, I'm actually really surprised you I'm kidding. <laughs> of course he did, Mr. Rainbow Sparkles. So actually, because I know that Dudu is going to get an Instruct, what I actually want to do is do a split goal. And the reason is I can actually see how much the Instruct raises his Lance rank. And uh, if it like if the Instructs raise his Lance rank by, I think, at least um, 12, which there's a good chance it does because an Instruct is like four at base, right? An Instruct is just four. At, it's actually six at base. Wait, what? Yeah, no, the Instruct is going to raise it by at least 12. So I can do a split goal. But the whole point is I want to see how much the Auto Instruct does or even if it hits Lance at all. And then we'll move on from there because I know that Dudu is going to get instructed. It's the, the priority is going to do Felix and then Dimitri, and then it goes for the level twos, and then Dudu is a level two. Wait a minute, no it's not. I got Baltus and Happy down here, what the heck? Okay, forget about it. Um, yeah, Dudu is never getting auto-instructed this week, but I guess it's still flexible to remain here. I mean, why not? What am I going to do? Like do a solo goal here and then react to the nothing that happens later? How about I just do this? Yeah, I totally forgot I had Baltus and Happy. Yeah, the auto-instructs are going to hit Felix, Dimitri, Baltus, I'm pretty sure. Uh, anyways, let's take a look here. So what do I want to do then with you? Didn't I want to uh, do Faith? Let's see if I can't get this solo instruct to hit. Let's see if I can't get this instruct to hit Faith this time. Laughing Crimson Flower. Mm-hmm. I don't want to play the other roots because of her worst things happening him outside Azure Moon. You got to appreciate the tragedy that happens in other roots. Yeah, no. I do like it. I like all four of the roots of this game, honestly. I love them all. Story, gameplay. So I don't do a lot of recruitment. Oh yeah, you gotta you gotta see you gotta see the enemy faces. That's what I'm saying, wrong house. Like all the characters are really cool. Um Baldus is getting instructed, right? Doesn't the auto instruct always hit for minimum? I seriously, hold on a minute. I've literally sat here saying, like, I don't actually know how much an instruct hits for. I've actually forgotten that. Doesn't it always hit for minimum when you auto instruct? No, what it is is an um okay exp gained that much, okay exp gained six. Good to know. I think auto instruct always hits minimum, so it's gonna be twelve. Is it gonna be twelve wexp? So thirty six and then twelve gets you to E plus. Ready to end your recruitment because I didn't know the die until I know right. Ugh. My first run through, I didn't do much recruitment. I think I recruited Leone. In my very, that was the only out of house where I recruited was Leone. Was Leone, and I recruited her because um, I couldn't win a lance tournament as long as she was in the enemies. <laughs> it was like house versus house lance tournament. She was whooping my butt, and I'm like, I'm getting bodied by Leone right now, and I want to win this tournament, so I recruited her and then sent her in. <laughs> I had to use my other Edgar class so I can choose to kill him. That's right. Um, can I even get D? Like, can you actually get D here? First out of house was so vain because I played Family Jack. Yeah, exactly. It's just like, dude, I want in. Can I please? <laughs> Let me see here. Okay, first things first, right? Okay. Are we all in agreement? <laughs> so we have 36... Wex coming in for this. Is there... What's on the calendar, actually? Because we have this, and then we have... Do we actually... We don't have... We've only got two weeks of Instruct here, don't we? Don't we only have two weeks of Instruct before going into this chapter? I think so. Don't we? Where's the um, fe3h.com? No, I need gamemade.co, actually. Two weeks? Oof. Yeah, I think we only have two, um, two instructs. I gotta know, though. I gotta know for sure. Yeah, we've only got these two. So I don't actually think that's enough to get to D. Although, people keep, keep people kept on telling me you can get to D on anything. As long as you don't have a bank. Is it you can get to D on- No, what? This is a boon. I guess if you use the seminar, you can. If you use the seminar, you can get anybody to D if they don't have a Bane. Was that the narrative? I really can't remember. Right? I, like, I really can't remember, if I'm going to be honest. But this is looking like it's going to be kind of hard to get them to D. You need full motivation, neutral, and seminar. Yeah, then this can't happen, even with, even with Boone. Even with Boone, it's not happening. 
36, 36, and two hits is 12, is um 72 plus 12 is 84. I'm 14 EXP short. And I'm not allowed to summon her. If I MVP Balthus in chapter, um, and not in chapter, in Forest Auxiliary, I don't get motivation, do I? If, like, MV MVP in an, in an Ox battle doesn't raise motivation, I'm pretty sure. It's, it's only main stories and paralogs. Nope, okay. I barely use seminars, oops, honestly. I mean, it's like, you're not really missing out on much. Let's just do this for the moment, then. Or do we want D? Do we want um, an extra cast of heal? For, like, do we want an extra heal caster for chapter three? Or do we want a uh, sword? What for? What would sword, or do we want like sword auth or something? What would we even do with sword auth? With D rank authority, we would question mark, question mark, question mark. We're gonna have knights for Dimitri, right? For sure. Ooh, he does not have much auth rank. I mean, I guess we haven't really done any combat yet. We've, we've literally, I say, I say like he does not have much auth rank as though I was able to do anything about it, right? Give her Byleth. Yeah, exactly. At least two buns. Yeah, two battles a month. Yeah, two battles a month is pretty good. I feel like solo off. I just want that C. Although maybe you don't need. Maybe maybe you don't need to go this hard to get C for chapter three, right? Maybe you don't need to go this hard. Sword Balth is for the thief promo. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, but maybe maybe that's actually thinking too far ahead, right? I, maybe maybe I should be thinking more short term, right? Can I even, like, I can get C gone. Oh man, yeah, C, C gone is like, I don't even need to try. I can just get, C. he's literally right here, right? I can get D off for chapter two, but that doesn't actually help me. D off doesn't do any, wait, does he get like rally something at D off? Doesn't he get rally strength? I've, wait, I've already got rally strength. What am I talking about? I'm playing blue lions, I've already got rally strength. Why do I care? So I have a Blood of Eagle and Lion, the Titanuses and the final boss. Oh yeah, no. Those are hard. He does get Rally Strength at DR. Yeah, but I've already got Rally Strength, so like, whatever. Maybe if we get to chapter three and like Annette is dead, it was literally harder to get her than to take her out. Yeah, no. I mean that's kinda that's kinda fire emblem three houses though. It's like getting getting to them is the hard part. Well, this learned arts kind of stink. Yeah, but like, what is it? Does he learn anything at C? Uh, should I be prioritizing C Gaunts at all or no? I don't know, actually. Oh, God. Why am I using my mouse to scroll down? First of all, I have control left. Second of all, I know he's at the bottom. So why am I like scrolling slowly? Okay, learned arts. Uh, he learns draining blow at C plus. Yeah, that kind of sucks. And first of all, it's at C plus, so it doesn't even matter. Second of all, it's draining blow. Who cares? Diamond Axe is kind of funny with hit twenty. I have a feeling he's not going to start hit twenty. And hit bat. What's it even? What's it even do? Fourteen might. Yeah, no, I don't really care for that. Get out of here. Band of monsters at C plus. To be honest, I think the only thing I need to think about right now is what can he learn that's good for two and three. Like literally, what can I do with Balthus that helps him out in chapter two and chapter three? His personal draining bone is crest make him good in mid game. Does it though? I kind of want him to be zero or to be like one HP. Nothing to be honest. Yeah, I mean, so if there's nothing I can do, here's the thing. First of all, there's nothing I can do. Second, he's going to get hit by the auto tutor. He's great out of the box. So actually, maybe what I do is I do like this, right? Do I just do sword off? If I do sword off, then the auto tutor is going to hit sword. Do I care? What if I get wrath strike? Actually, think about it. What if I get wrath strike? I can do 24 to like okay I can do this the auto tutor is gonna hit his sword I can do 24 24 because this is a boon this is a boon and a split instruct so it's gonna be 24 24 the auto instruct is gonna hit him twice so it's gonna be 12 off of that that's immediate these swords I get wrath strike good to go I think that's a good plan for Balthus and then it's just what do I teach after that the axe maybe I don't even see any point in D axes why not why not get D authority I don't even know what I get from D authority but it's got to be something good right like I mean yes yeah, rally strength but I mean like as far as bats go no, because you can't totally tank things, so you can recommend that by stalling the enemy for a bit. Screst like 10% chance here. Yeah, it's pretty good, frankly. Um, maybe maybe that's the key. You know, I always bench Baltus in mid-game. Wronghouse out here exercising a little bit more creativity. Takes me back to my school days. Yeah. 
Your personal takes thanks to weaker things? Yeah, exactly. What about happy then? Um, it's gotta be this, right? Do I actually try and work any harder than this in order to try and get like, do, what if I solo face? Like, here's the thing. Yeah, I can't get heal now. Oh, come on. You must, no matter what happens, you're gonna be able to get heal in chapter three, right? Come on, if you just do that, it's freaking 20, 20, 20, 20. You got it. You could never get hit by the auto tutor once. You could never level this once and you totally still have it. What about the E rank authority though? Do I need to do something about the E rank authority? Like, maybe I need to do Faith off. What does this crest do? When using Combat Art, chance to heal. By some percent of damage dealt. I don't really know the details. You gotta forgive me here. Let me take a look at Happy's spell list. Is there anything good at C? Hold up. Wait, stop. I get Banshee at C Reason. Hold up. Slow down, fellas. I get Banshee at C Reason. And she's gonna get hit by the auto instruct. But 104 EXP, even with a boon, that can't be done. I guess, wait, 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 no, stop, stop. Guys, hold on, hold on. Is it 50% and minor is 30? Like, think about it, guys. With the reason, okay? With the reason, Sarah's Holy Monks, who needs Oth That's what I'm saying, right? Yeah, just use the Sarah's Holy Monks. Use the Sarah's Sacred Monks, actually, man. I want that AoE heal. What was I going, what was I getting at, actually? Ah, right, this is what I was going to say. Actually, I've forgotten it. No, 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 I'm kidding. This is what I was going to say. Um, so... Ah, yes, yes, okay. I can cast some reason spells in the map. And what I think I would like, actually, here's what I would like. I would like to see if I...